Okay guys, so to do a bit of a follow-up on my Cara Blanca review, I want to kind of show you uh, basically uh, the official Looney Tunes DVD um, collections that I have. Uh, these are not like the premiere, uh, premiere ones, you know, the ones that are on Blu-ray or maybe even 4K eventually. These are mainly the ones that are specifically focused on a certain genre or a certain character and everything. And most of these were contributed to me by Frank Hill. It's Frank. So, Frank, thank you very much for, for sending these my way. And um, mainly what they are, like I said, are just, you know, focuses on certain characters. I, I do have another one. I do have another one, but oh, a couple more, but they're kind of packed away. One um, has Foghorn Leghorn on there. I know that. That's one that Frank Hill sent me. It's it's packed away in my ottoman right now, so I'm not going to get it out. But I do have it. So I do have a few other ones uh, that I can eventually br bring out down the line. But these are more like based on, you know, collections that have a theme, or based, that have a theme they're based around, or a character and all that. So the first one... So the first one is uh, a collection... Called the Masupalami or the Masupala Mayhem, the Masupala Mayhem, and it's 18 classics of Sylvester and Hippity Hoppity, or oh, Hippity Hopper. Yeah, Sylvester and Hippity Hopper. It's all 18 cartoons um, on one uh, DVD, one DVD disc, and everything. I'm sure you can find these in other collections um, as well that are on Blu-ray, as well as I think you can find most of these on the. Uh, boomerang service streaming service um, as well uh, If you don't want to physically go out and get the disc, but yeah, these are all um, 18 of the classics if you will we got um, hop look and listen hippity hopper pop uh, Pop and pop I think you gotta turn on the lights. It's getting a little darker here guys. I do apologize uh, but let's see, we have, you know, Pop and Pop, we have Who's Kitten Who, Happy Go Lucky, Cats Away, Bell Hoppy, Lighthouse Mouse, Top Hop Up to Handle, Slap Hoppity, or uh, Slap, what is it, Slap Happy Mouse, uh, Mouse Taken Identity, Happy Days, that's Days, if you will, with a Z. Freddy, a uh, fruity, a uh, Freddy cat. Cat's a paw. Fish and uh, fish and slips. Birds of a feather. Claws in the leash. Goldie Mouse and the three cats. So basically, it's a collection. Like I said, majority majority of it themed over Sylvester's in interaction with Hippity Hopper, and then of course you have some other. Uh, mouse and Sylvester themed cartoons added in there like Goldie Mouse and the Three Cats which is a take on Goldilocks and the Three Bears so that's one collection I have again I do have others that are uh, pretty much packed away right now or in the closet uh, on, on another shelf that I'm not going to dig out right away it, over time I may do that but I just wanted to like show you three of the primary themed ones that I have uh, the next one, I've talked about this before, we have uh, Pepe Le Pew. It is uh, 17 cartoon classics. This one has Adorable Cutie, uh, Adorable Kitty, uh, Sentimental Over You, Odor of the Day, For Sentimental Reasons, Sem Sentimental Romeo, Little Bo Pepe, Wild Over You, Dog Pounded, which is, I think, a, a Sylvester cartoon, but he appears at the end. I think that's it. I'm not really sure. The Cat's Ba, Past Perfumance, Past Perfumance, Two Cents Worth, Heaven Sent, Touche and Go, Really Sent, Who Sent You, A Scent of the Matterhorn, and Lover Come Back to Me. Uh... Really sent, I think that's the one with uh, Penelope uh, using the name of Faberet. And she is born, um, and she is uh, the only born kitten out of a litter that has a stripe 
down her middle like she you know making it look like she's a skunk like her sisters um have have a bit of the uh, whiteness on the on the fur but it's like you know it's like maybe like right down the middle but it's not all the way down you know, it might be on the tail not all the way down uh, uh Faberet, she um she basically um uh, is you know Faberet penelope she's basically born uh, in the story with all with the white stripe like completely down her back on both sides making her like a like i said to turn, turn out to be like a, a skunk or something like that and i think it's really good because to me that is like one of the first times even back then you know that they tried to at least say hey let's get let's see if people might be all cool with peppy and penelope getting together in in a way so so yeah, this is actually a pretty good one. Uh, I've watched it a few times. It's really cool and all that. And I do like the endings sometimes. Like, what is it? Uh, Sentimental Over You, I think, is one of them. Um, on a, Yeah, no, it's not that. It's, a, it's for sentimental... It's one of these. It's one of these. It's Oda of the Day for Sentimental Reasons. Um, I, I like the fact that at, at the end of some of these... Peppy kind of gets his comeuppance when all of a sudden uh, Penelope gets turned on by him and for some reason, you know, like, you know, she gets wet and all that and she's just all drenched and she sees them all painted in blue and everything and she falls for him that way. Or we see, what is it, the little Bo Peppy, the ending of that one. I think that's pretty cool too, the way he's like, he's going to ignite the furnace but he overdoes it, so... Yeah, this is really fun to have in the collection, especially if you're a Pepe and Penelope fan. Especially what's been going on with Pepe council culture-wise, which I don't think is going to be that much of an effect because I think he's still around. They're just cooling him down right now. I mean, we wouldn't have Fifi Le Fume, you know, in Tiny Toon Luniversity if that was the case. And then, of course, last but not least, this is the one I was talking about when I did my Cara Blanca review. This is one of the places, or one of the um, collections and sets you can find it on. This is Looney Tunes Parodies Collection. This is the Looney Tunes Parody Collection, uh, basically. And you can tell that the one, you know, front and center is Cara Blanca. Cara Blanca is the one front and center. And we have on here the cartoons of I Love to Singa. It's a classic. That one's a classic. Hollywood Steps Out, that's another classic. Super Rabbit, based on Superman. Jack Rabbit and the Beanstalk, you know, basically Jack and the Beanstalk. Little Red Riding Rabbit. Rabbit Hood. Rabbit of Seville. Uh, let's see. Robinson Crusoe, or like Robinson Crusoe. Robinson Crusoe. What's Opera Doc? Arabian Nights. Apes of Wrath. How Bugs Bunny won the rest. Oh, yeah. How Bugs Bunny won the West. The Duxicist, which was a uh, play on The Exorcist. And that was actually one of the new uh, shorts they did in the 80s to go along with uh, Daffy Duck Quackbusters. Invasion of the Bunny Snatchers. Chariots of Fur. Carrot Blanca. Pulet, uh, Pulet Surprise. Little Go Beep. From Hair to Eternity, Hair and Loathing in Las Vegas. And the uh, and the reason, you know, they all have those names is the parody names of Hollywood movies and all that that have come out in the past, you know, several decades. And also a parody on, um, you know, how Hollywood is looked at and everything um, as well. But yeah, it is basically a collection of I think how many is on here Let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and twenty twenty animated shorts worth you know, definitely worth the price you know, you would be paying for it. And, yeah, I definitely highly recommend getting it, especially if you want to see 
uh, Carrot Blanca, because it is on here um, as well. And it's heavily promoted uh, all across <laughs> the, the set, if you know what I mean. So, so yeah. Those are basically my uh, Looney Tune themed um, collections, if you will. I know I have a few more, like I say, packed away. And over time, I might get my hands on them and, and all that. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you at least three of my... Uh, of what I would consider my primary uh, viewer viewing um, sets that I would pop into my uh, Blu Ultra Blu-ray player and watch. Which, by the way, when you do that, you can actually watch these in 4K, uh, 60 frames per second or 30 frames per second. But mostly 4K, 60 frames per second because they're on DVD and it basically ups the frame rate to uh, from a standard like 24 to 60. And the 4K uh, is the resolution that would make it look a lot better and all that. But, um, yeah, that's all my, those are just my, three of my themed uh, Looney Tune collection uh, DVDs. Just, you know, thought I'd show you that. Again, I do have others that Frank Hill sent to me that I have packed away in the Ottoman. I might get them out later uh, down the line. I just don't know when. Uh, it all depends on scheduling. We'll see. But, yeah. Just wanted to come out here, guys, and show you that. And let me know what your thoughts are. And until next time, I'll talk to you all later.